It's dark. It's violent. It's loud. I don't think there's any way for a human to feel more alone. I'm a human and a professional waterman. I think my initial attraction to big waves was that it was completely separate from the rules of the land and the rules of people. At a young age, I was chasing the edge of my comfort zone and that's when I really felt alive. As I've gotten older, my appreciation for uncomfortable situations in the ocean has is, is definitely grown. I don't think there's actual growth without some discomfort. If you try to avoid it, you don't really grow as a human. I would have to say that my practice is a practice of confronting discomfort. It's just as much in the training as it is in the act of doing these things out in the ocean. The discomfort that you get from holding your breath, it's a sensation that trumps hunger. You need air first and foremost. Breath holding, there's not a human on planet Earth, including world record holders, that aren't gonna have to battle within five minutes. Most people are gonna have to have that battle within 30 seconds. This incredible anxiety just grips you. It's one of those alarms that's meant to keep you alive, but in certain situations, it's a real hindrance. You have to dig into that feeling and regain control with your mind. Instead of your body telling your mind what to do, you have to keep your mind telling your body what to do. Anybody can experience what I'm talking about right now, and it's highly uncomfortable but you can actually get past that point. Everybody's comfort edge is different, but that feeling is the same. No matter who you are, you know that it takes 100% focus to push that line a little further out. That's what being a human on Earth is to me. It's about being acquainted with a mental space that life will put you in. Whether you like it or not, just accept it. It's going to happen. Why not try to be the master of it?